Guys, Southeast Softwire, I'm just gonna do a little quick video here and try to explain the difference between batch mixing and blending as far as soft wash goes. So, um, a lot of guys that are following this channel, you probably don't need to watch this video, you already get this. This is just for new guys. Uh, a lot of newcomers to the channel, they don't understand any of this stuff. So, uh, we'll try to break it down here and make it make sense for you. So let's start out with a batch system. What is a batch system? Okay, a batch system, you're gonna have your pump here and we'll just say that it's discharging out that way to your hose reel and you'll have your suction side going into a single tank okay and in this tank here's our lid we're gonna put water we're gonna put SH and we're gonna put a surfactant okay so Depending on what job you're about to go do, if you're going to go do a roof, you're going to put water, SH, and surfactant in there to achieve a 4 to, you know, roughly 5%, somewhere in there. A really dirty roof with moss, you may be that 5.5%, uh, may be dead on at 4. Uh, so you're going to do your math and figure out how much bleach how much water and how much soap needs to go in that tank to get that ratio. If you're doing a house wash, you're gonna do whatever the math is to get one to you know maybe 2% mix. 2% uh, would be a really dirty house. So those are your ranges. Uh, then you got all kinds of other stuff, you know, hardy blank, stucco, drive it, uh, whatever you're cleaning, barrel tile roofs, you can do them about three and a half percent. So there's a little bit more to it, but most of the time it's either gonna be a roof cleaning or a house wash, and then uh, you're just gonna have to do your math, right? So the next question is how do you get this number or this number? Well, the big question here is gonna be what percent bleach are you starting out with? And most of the guys in the industry, the kind of the industry standard is to, to start with 12.5 five percent sh okay that's industrial strength uh, a lot of times you can google somewhere in your area we'll have it by the barrel 55 gallon barrel so they'll bring it to you and you pump it over into your tank and you're good to go now you can also there's some areas of the country that ca cannot get this and they only have 10 percent which is fine it's still plenty strong enough nothing in the soft washing world requires either of these two percents strengths to clean it okay Pretty much uh, five and a half or six percent is going to be like really hot mix. So uh, everything's below that. So even if you're going to Walmart and buying the jugs, which is you know super small time weekend warrior, you don't want to go buy a barrel because you think you'll never use it all. Go to Walmart and get the uh, individual jugs, and that's going to be six percent. Great value brand Walmart brand uh, bleach is six percent. So if you're just doing a couple small jobs, you can do it that way. It's not efficient, load of work. So what you've got to do is figure out, okay, if you're, let's just take the 10% bleach for easy math, right? If we put, uh, and, and we'll say this is a 100 gallon tank for easy math. If we put 100 gallons of water, or if we put, 50, I'm sorry, 50 gallons of water, and we put 50 gallons of bleach in there. Now, we're not going to put enough surfactant in there really matter as far as the ratio just for this thought exercise so just forget the soap doesn't it's not going to affect it it's not going to be enough volume in here to throw either one of these off but 50 50 water at 10 percent bleach would get you a five percent bash okay because you're cutting the bleach by half with water so if you fill the whole tank up with 10 percent bleach then you're gonna have a tank of 10% bleach, right? But if you cut that in half with water, 50-50, you're gonna have a 5% mix, okay? If, you did, if you're using 12, 12.5%, and you did 50-50, you're gonna have a 6.25% mixture in your tank, okay? So you're, got, you're not gonna have to use as much to achieve the same thing. And if you're using 6%, off the shelf at Walmart bleach, and you do half and half, 50 gallons, 50 gallons, you're gonna have a 3% batch, okay? So you just gotta understand, number one, is what's the job you're gonna go do, and then what is your raw source gonna be as far as strength? 
and then do your math from there. And then, of course, you'll vary it. You'll add more water and less bleach to get your house wash mix. So if you're doing a house wash, you're not gonna have to use as much bleach, so yay. But your roof's profit margins are higher. So, you know, that's a batch system, guys. Okay, let's draw us a, a divider here. And we'll talk about a blendable system and why does everybody in the industry that's professional use a blendable system if this works? Well, because this is not very efficient. When you have a blendable system, you've got your tank here for water, okay? You've got your tank here for bulk SH, and you've got your little tank over here for surfactant. We'll just say so because it takes up less space, okay? H, two, oh, okay. And here's our pump up here. It's discharging out this way again. It's pulling this way. You know, you got your battery over somewhere. And somewhere here in the middle, you're gonna have a blend system. Now it can be the proportioner, which is a brand name thing. Guys, when you're calling it a proportioner, yeah, a proportioning is not a brand name, but the proportioner is a branded item. That's from uh, Power Watch Store, Tim Asselton's. Uh, little gig there. So all these the blend manifolds we sell is not technically a proportioner. It's a we call it a blend manifold, and there's tons of them. Um, lots of guys build them. So doesn't matter who you get it from. They're all doing the same thing. And basically, what this thing is, let's zoom in here, is you've got three valves, and they all tie in here to go to the pump, and they tie in to each tank here. And you adjust these valves more open or less open to pull out of these three tanks at whatever ratio you select on the valve to get this percentage that you're looking for, okay? So let's, again, we're going to disregard the soap one, okay? Just we'll erase it because just like in the batch, the batch skid example over here, you're not going to use enough soap to matter on the bleach to water ratio. The soap is such a, the surfactant is such a small amount of the flow. It's, it doesn't come into the equation really on getting your, your percentages. And guys, one thing to keep in mind is we're not trying to be, okay, we're not trying to be 5.27563. <laughs> we don't want to be that accurate, okay? So don't get hung up on the decimal points uh, to the numbers here. We're, when we're doing roof cleaning or house wash, it doesn't matter. We have a range that we're shooting for. Houses, one to two percent, roofs four to five percent. So we don't, fortunately, the good thing about it is in this industry, you don't have to be super accurate. You do want to be accurate, but not like to the millionth decimal point. The proportioners uh, valves or GF uh, brand valves are very accurate valves. What we use is not as accurate, but it doesn't matter because you're still going to be well within your acceptable range for whatever you set it on. So here's our water and here's our bleach. Now let's just for the sake of example, like we do, we say, well, I mean, what we use is 12.5% bleach. Water is 0% bleach. So if you open your water valve and your bleach valve, both all the way open, what percent are you gonna be spraying? Let me give you a second to think about it. They're both wide open. The answer is 6.25%. And again, don't get hung up on the 0.25. What could you say 6%? Because you're cutting 12% in half with the same amount of water flow, okay? If we want to get a 3% mix, what we'll do is we'll, we'll back the SH valve down to half of that, okay? So once you know that your SH line is off and that is 0%, when your water lines are open, and you cut your bleach line all the way open, you get 6%, well in the middle of that is, is gonna be 3%, okay? So our metering valves are marked, they're hash marked one through five. So on the two and a half mark would get you a 3% mix coming out. It would be great if they were hash marked one to six because it would almost correspond perfectly, uh, but they're not, they're one to five. So you just have to understand that off is zero, wide open is six, in the middle of that at two and a half is gonna be three, in the middle of that is going to be, you know, a one and a half percent mix. And so fortunately, you're only got to go one, the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's not one to 20. It's, it's really easy to do when you're looking at the valve. Uh, guys, another thing that can affect your ratios is the distance of these lines from the manifold to the tank. You don't want this one to be 
uh, you know, two feet, and this one would be eight feet because it can throw off your your ratios with those different distances and hoses. Now, I don't understand how that works because I'm sitting here thinking, well, once these lines are primed, it's not going to make much of a difference. So you just try to keep them all as close to the same as you can. I don't think it would really make a huge difference, but we do want to be accurate. Uh, one other thing you can do is a bucket test. So you can cut this valve off and your soap valve off and spray water into a five gallon bucket, spray for one minute and see exactly how much water you got. And then do the same thing with the SH and see if you got the same amount of water, then you know that those lines are pulling uh, about the same. And if it's a little bit off, it doesn't matter, but uh, you don't want them to be, you know, this much off in a five gallon bucket would be, you'd have to, you know, take that into consideration when you're using your manifold system. So. The good thing about the blend manifold is your water line, it basically stays open all the time and then you just open the bleach valve more or less to adjust your strength coming out at the wand. So uh, it takes about one minute to cycle 200 feet of line with a five and a half gallon a minute uh, 12 volt pump. So anytime you change your ratio, you got to wait one minute uh, of flow to get to the new ratio. And then your soap line, you just open it more or less depending on what you're cleaning. If you want thicker soap, uh, thicker surfactant, Open it up on roofs will go higher, on house washes will be a little bit lower. Uh, if the homeowner's coming outside, they're in helicopter mode, you know, watching you doing the buzzer thing, we'll bump the soap up so it gives a little more of a fragrance. Uh, but yeah, you just play with your soap as far as what you're cleaning. If it's really dirty, crank it up a little more. Um, the benefits of this is you're carrying around, and on our skis, 100 gallons of bulk, okay? So you can do a bunch of jobs with this. And the only thing you have to keep filling up is your water tanks, which water's everywhere. Every, every location you go to to do a job is pretty much going to have water. Um, so you fill up your SH tank maybe once a week, once every two weeks, and you're riding around with bulk. And then every job you go to, you just set your valves, spray, your tank level drops a little bit. Over here, you're spraying out of this one tank, so it's dropping quick because you're pulling out of just one tank with a batch. If you got this set up, you go do a job, you get done, you got some left over, well, if you want to pour more bleach and water back in here, you have to remember what this strength was and then what you're going to be adding back to it is going to be all out of whack unless you do a bunch of math. So it can be done. This is so much easier because you know these never cross contaminate. So you always got bulk 12.5. This will last you a lot longer throughout the work week without having to top that back off. So I generally fill our tank once and we may go a week and a half, two weeks, depending on what kind of jobs we're doing. Obviously, if you do a lot more roofs, you're gonna use a lot more bleach uh, than doing a house wash. We'll do a house wash and you can't even see the level in the tank, the SH tank drop, because it's only pulling, again, that one to 2%, so a very small amount of the 12.5 tank is, is coming out. It's metered in with mostly water. If you're doing a roof, you crank that valve up, you're gonna pull a little bit more because you're trying to get to you know 5%. So, Hope that makes sense, guys. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Have a good one.